The next thing that is frequently missed by students has to do with usability. Notice that I have four links and they're all just the same old green. When I move my mouse over them, there is no response. So I don't really know if they're links or what they are. I mean, they look sort of linkish, but there's no visual change or user experience that would let me know those are links. So over here in my base CSS, you can see I've got a nav color and down here, I'm going to type instructions for a new selector. So we're going to talk to the navigation anchor hover. Hover is a pseudo class. And then we could do background color and we could throw something nasty at it. And now when we mouse over, we get that color. Well, that's not really smart design. Instead, what we should do is let's use an RGBA, A stands for alpha, so it has some transparency, and we can either lighten it or darken it. So if we go 255, 255, 255, that's a red, green, and blue. And don't forget the last comma, zero point, and then if you use one, that would be 10% white, if you used 9, that would be 90% white. So let's lighten it just 20%. Now let's check it out. Now when I mouse over it, it lightens just slightly. Now I'm going to show you the cool reason I'm using this here in a minute. Another thing that students often miss is what's called wayfinding. When I'm on the home page, the home page should be visually different so that it clues me in as to that's where I'm at on your site. In the index, the navigation home link has a class equals active, and we assigned that previously. So I'm going to copy the word active, and because it's a class, I can type nav space dot active. Well, what do I want to do with this? Well, I could once again, I could do a background color of red, and now it shows me that, oh, I'm on the home page. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to do RGB alpha again. And this time I'm going to darken it. So I'll do a zero for red, a zero for green, and a zero for blue. And then once again, zero point, and I can go 10%, 20%, 30%. Let's go ahead and darken it by 30%. There we go. So now I have a lighter color and a darker color. Well, what's neat about that? Well, let's say that we took this to our client and they decided that green wasn't their favorite color. Maybe they want deep pink for some reason. Okay, look what we've got. Mouse over is a lighter pink. Mouse active is a darker pink. Had we made these colors color names or hex values, they wouldn't have matched very well. So smart coding in this case would be to darken an existing color or lighten an existing color. That way, changing the current nav color automatically gives me a good looking color for the hover and the active state.